grew up in Arvada um, with my mom and my dad and my brother. My brother's 17 months younger than me. I also grew up with my grandparents in town, so every weekend we usually would go to Mass and we'd go out to eat and we usually spend some time with each of my grandparents. From when I was a little girl all the way up till about 8th grade, I had really long hair, like straight long past my butt hair. Well, I had to wear dresses. I didn't get to wear jeans till I was in 6th grade. When I was a really little girl, I was a little girl with really long hair and in a dress every day. And then when I was in eighth grade, I cut my bangs, which was a big deal because my mom didn't want me to do it. I had big 80s permed hair. We used to, um, I looked like a preppy kid in the 80s, so I liked all the preppy styles, the monogram sweaters and the collars turned up. I was a very preppy girl, I guess. I was very short. I was always the shortest in my class. So very quiet little I usually had to have teachers tell me they couldn't hear me. I laugh a lot, especially when I get nervous. So I giggle. I guess it's more giggle. I didn't really laugh, but <laughs> I get nervous and I giggle. I was not a leadership kind of kid. I did not want to take the leader role. I was always willing to help because I was so timid as a younger person. Sometimes I didn't I just didn't try new things because I was too afraid to. You know, it's an uncomfortable, inner uncomfortable feeling when you're shy. <laughs> well, I think my first job helped me because I was at worked at McDonald's and so it's a lot of customer service. Going to college also helped me to stretch myself a bit and not be, you know, again, you're meeting a lot of people, you're meeting professors, but then I think becoming a mom has probably been the biggest way for me not to be shy. That helped me to kind of break out of my shy shell. Also, I had to be, since I was not comfortable as being a leader role, I was always as comfortable being a wife because I was with my husband, so we worked together and we do things together. It wasn't me leading him or him leading me. But when you're a mom and I'm home all day with my first child and then my second child and then my third child, then you are the leader, and you are the leader not by choice. All of a sudden, it was, it was up to me to direct and and guide, and, and that was kind of hard at first. It definitely helped mold me and break me out of my my shell of being quiet and shy and scared to make decisions, because as a leader, you have to make decisions. So. My kids swim, so uh, this last summer, I got involved in the leadership with the swim team during the summer. So that was in a bigger leadership role and it, it was kind of scary because I didn't know what I was doing, but at the same time it was kind of fun. So the parts that I kind of took care of is I set up the meets for the, the season. Um, and then um, now, this year, my husband and I have been asked to be or the youth leaders for the high school youth group. So right now, for the high school youth group at our church, I guess the way I see my role right now is to help foster a good community for our youth, to help them to get to know one another, and to help develop them in their faith. We just try and direct them in prayer and um, activities, we try to plan games or activities that help them get to know one another. So definitely my volunteer work has helped me develop more leadership abilities. My younger self would have said, no way, there's no way you're going to do that. God has led me here and really brought me out of my comfort zone. It's opened me up to new opportunities that I wouldn't have had before. Plus, I guess that's what I like about each new role I do. I always learn something new. I always start in it as one person and leave as a new person.